I got the idea for this video just scrolling on TikTok and seeing an item resurface from like my middle school years and I was kind of traumatized but also kind of intrigued and was like maybe I should buy it. And we'll get into that in a bit but essentially I have heard people say over the years that trends always recycle themselves. Like there's never really that many new original things. It'll just be trends and little bits and pieces from the past that kind of resurface about 20 years later or so. And then it just repeats itself over and over again in different ways. So I kind of knew that because I was very, very young in the 90s and then 90s fashion came back a few years ago. But now I'm in my 30s and things that I was wearing in high school and middle school are genuinely like becoming trendy now, which I find hilarious. And I'm sure this has happened to like everyone, but just witnessing it like, and, and remembering purchasing these items and remembering wearing them to high school and to different various activities is very fascinating. So essentially in this video, I am going to be testing out several different early 2000s trends that have come back to haunt us. You gotta just roll with the punches in life, you know? The only thing that you can count on being constant is change. So I did order a few different items. We're gonna talk about a few trends that I have noticed lately and we're just gonna have fun with it. The other sort of obstacle that I faced when thinking about making this video was that as a midsize or plus size person, it can be difficult to find some of these trendy items in plus sizes. A lot of these trends you do sort of see either like coming from thrift stores or vintage shops or retailers that don't make anywhere past like a size eight, you know? So it was kind of difficult to find options that I could show you in this video, but I did manage to find a few things. They aren't exact, but it's pretty close and we're just gonna have fun with it. If there is a trend in this video that you absolutely hate or you absolutely love, that's okay. That's the beauty of it, is we can all have differing opinions on it. Hopefully we'll all be nice to each other, but this is all just for fun. So we're gonna test out some different trends that I have noticed becoming very popular, mostly on TikTok, but I've seen a lot of, you know, young, cute Gen Z folks wearing these. Oh my God, I sound so old. I've just seen a lot of this around lately. So hopefully you will enjoy going on this journey with me and uh, let's test it out. Let's see what I look like by the end of this video. Yikes. The first trend that I have to tackle. We're going to do it. And like, honestly, it's just going to be like ripping the bandaid. We have to get this over with. And um, that's low rise jeans. I've kind of avoided it up until this point. It's kind of history repeating itself. I'm seeing a lot of these like very, very thin influencers who are like this sort of it girl wearing low rise jeans that are like super, super low and kind of, it's like reliving it from middle school and high school again, where you see your favorite celebrity wearing these pants and you're just like, why don't I look like that? Because it has nothing to do with the rise. It has everything to do with the body. So I don't particularly love it, but we'll have fun with it for the sake of the video. We'll play around with it. And I did see a TikTok showing this particular type of low rise jeans. And I was like, this is, this is a relic from years past. And it is this pair of jeans, which is essentially like my middle school bread and butter right here. And it is a low rise pair of jeans that has this very weird sort of suede leather tie up the front. And of course, no pockets on the back, but we'll get into that. So I did find a pair on Hollister. I saw someone mention it and I was like, hold on, we have to test this out. And these are called the low rise flare jeans and they are. <laughs> Oh my God, they are something else. Yep, they are. Okay, so here is what they look like. If any of my fellow millennials remember this era, please let me know. I mean, the butt, like, I'm dead, I can't. Hollister isn't like super duper size inclusive, but I do believe they go up to a size 21, which is equivalent to a US size 20, if I'm not mistaken. They're originally $59.95. I believe I got these on sale for $39. And oh man, even the pockets in the front, like I can't. Honestly, if these were high rise, like I would kind of rock with this as an outfit with this shirt, kind of cute. Let's try these on and see how this goes. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my God, the feelings I am feeling right now. The nostalgia. This is mad, absolutely mad. Why am I doing this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, 
I'm dead. I feel so many feelings right now. First of all, I feel very um, exposed, very bare, very out there, but we're just gonna go with it. These jeans are actually cute. Like these kind of were a moment when I first saw them, I was like, oh no, oh no. But I actually think these were kind of cute. I just wish they were a high rise. Like I think I would wear these if they were a high rise or maybe I need to find the right shirt to wear with them or something, but they're not bad. The only thing I'm noticing right off the bat immediately is that I'm like constantly needing to hike them up. They are a little bit big. I probably could have sized down one size in these, but there's like nothing to hold on to down here. Like they just fall right off. So I'm just remembering all of the years that I spent just pulling my pants up 24 seven because they weren't up to here. Like I like them. They were down here and I literally had my butt crack out for like half of my life. Were we all just out here with our butt crack out like this? I feel so exposed and these aren't even as low rise as like some other pairs that I used to wear. This is hilarious. This flare just feels so very early 2000s. Like they really nailed it with these. Hats off to Hollister, honestly, because these are pretty damn close. The stretch feels iconic, by the way. The quality of the jeans is really great. So if you're on the market for these, you know, go for it. I will probably be returning these. I don't think I could find a way to wear them, but they are really cute. Like I actually like the tie, so maybe they'll make them in other rises. But these are really funny. These are definitely a blast from the past. Would I wear these out and about? Probably not but they're fun. This one is just really quick and I'm simply doing it for the laughs. Um, I actually had to place a special order for this because I do not have this in my possession. <laughs> because I'm in my 30s and I'm all about comfort and like still being cute, but definitely not, um, this isn't my cup of tea specifically, but it may be yours. So we're gonna try it out. And that is a thong or a G-string underneath your jeans showing up over your hips while you're wearing your jeans, like the intentional thong showing. And all I can think of when I think of this trend is Miss Britney Jean Spears, but I did not own a G-string or a thong that was like this stringy. I have a few that are like the no seam vibe, but I was like, okay, let's try it out. I ordered these from Target and I'm not kidding. I have seen thongs peeking up over low rise jeans, like intentionally like a lot of places. I can't really believe that this is popular again. I have such vivid memories of being in middle school and I wanted to wear a thong so badly and all I had were my limited two underwear. If you remember the limited two underwear, you're a real one. All I had was my limited two underwear and I remember specifically this day. <laughs> My parents wouldn't let me buy a thong or maybe I was too scared to ask, I'm not sure, but I took scissors to my limited two bug underwear. They had bugs on them, yes they did. I took scissors to the top part of it so that I could show a girl in class that I was wearing a thong, but it wasn't actually a thong, it was just me cutting the top part of my underwear so that I could pull it up and be like, see, I'm wearing a thong, and I wasn't. I absolutely wasn't, but it's just such a funny memory of mine. I'm very curious to see how this is gonna turn out, like peeking up over the top of my jeans. Uh, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet, but we had to try it out, so let's do it. So uh, this is interesting. Uh, didn't think I would be <laughs> almost 35 years old doing this, but here we are. There's also no age limit to trends. Like you can wear whatever the hell you want, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Do I feel particularly comfortable right now? No, I do not. That really hurt. What's sending me over the edge right now is the way it looks in the back. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, I did 100% put this over my full butt underwear. Um, it's, I'm just, I don't have the capacity today. I just don't. But you know, okay, it's a look. Is it the look? Probably not, but it is a look. It's not my favorite thing I've ever worn. I also would just personally never wear this outside of my house. I'm still hiking up the jeans, but then when I hike up the jeans, I have to hike up the freaking thong and it's just kind of a mess. But you know what? I committed, I'm, I'm doing the bit. Trends in what you wear are all about what you feel comfortable in and what makes you feel confident. And it has something to do with your size, your age, or your gender, or anything about you. It has everything to do with how something makes you feel. And this, makes me feel like I'm trying on the popular girl's clothes in the bathroom and like it's just not working for me, you know? It's just not my vibe, but if it's yours, that's totally great and awesome, but it's just not for me. I'm ready to move on. Although we do have one more thing to add to this, so um, 
pray for me. I promise we'll move on past this outfit at some point, but I just need to keep adding layers. <laughs> like we just need to keep stacking because I'm having so much fun. I have seen on TikTok recently so many belly chains to go with these low-waisted things and I'm like, excuse me? And I found a belly chain on ASOS. I am literally can't believe I'm opening this right now. They did have a couple of plus size friendly belly chains available. It's got some cute little like gold details and little baby pearls on it. So I thought, why not? Let's throw this on. While we're doing it, we're just gonna full send. I don't know what I'm getting myself into here, but we're already doing it. So let's keep going. All right, we've really done it. We've really gone there. I did it. I actually don't hate it. I had to tuck the thong back down for this one because it's just not it. But this is what the belly chain looks like. And you know what? I don't hate it. I do think that I could see myself wearing this maybe over top of like a cute high-waisted bikini bottom or some pants. And it's a plus size friendly version. I have it on the tightest right now, but you could definitely wear this probably I would say if you were up to like a size 22, I would say. So very cute, very delicate I'd be very scared to break it but it is fun I've seen a lot of like reminiscent posts of people like stacking different belly chains and combining them and stuff and I think it's a really cute accessory would I wear it with this specifically absolutely not but I do think it's really cute and I will hang on to it and see how I can you know mix and match it with other things in my closet but it's okay it's not my favorite thing I've ever worn but I actually do think I can like repurpose it I cannot believe that we have gotten this far but we still have more to go so let's keep going the next trend that I am seeing repeat itself quite frequently lately is micro mini skirts we're talking pleated denim super super tiny skirts and trust me I tried to find one I really did but the best that I could find is like a high-waisted version from Target this was the one that I found it's by Wild Fable it's still got the pleats it's really really cute I'm sure you could easily wear it low-rise if you want but I'm pretty sure it's high-rise we're gonna try it out again Again, absolutely no butt pockets to be found. Like, what a time we lived in. And apparently we're currently living in. <laughs> Is it gonna be something that I see myself keeping and wearing? Probably not. But we're gonna try. This skirt did only retail for $18, so a pretty affordable option if you wanted to test out this trend, get in touch with your inner child or your inner teenager, or feel like you wanna fit in with your local Gen Z. I don't know, but um, we're gonna try this out. I'm going to create the essentially like middle school outfit of my dreams with this, so let's try it. Okay, you know what? I actually think this is a really cute skirt. Like, I love this outfit. I would probably wear this with like a pair of combat boots or maybe like a cute cardigan in the fall and it's funny because when I first tried it on I was like mm, yeah no I'm definitely gonna return this but I, I don't know I might hang on to it it's pretty cute I really love the high waist it feels very good to be back in my comfort zone <laughs> I'm very happy about that but like I actually like the style of the skirt I think it's really cute I did a inside the fitting room video at H&M a few months ago and I tried on a similar skirt to this this sort of like pleated denim moment and a lot of you were like I've been trying those out recently so this would be a great like cost friendly option for that they had a couple different washes like regular denim black denim it is a little shorter in the back than I would like especially because I would likely have to wear shorts with this so we're gonna have to figure out something around that. When trends have reemerged, I feel like they've shape-shifted a little bit. Like they're not exactly the same. Although those jeans were pretty identical, I will say. But this is like a sort of more updated current version of the past trend and I kind of love it. And it's fun to play around with like this old sort of version of my style that I used to have. Although I am definitely in a much better place now than I was then. And last but not least, we have a couple different random like accessories slash trends that I've noticed. The first one being these sort of like spiky, I don't exactly know what they're called, but like spiky round headbands. I've seen these all over the place lately and I think I might actually be excited about this one. This was definitely more like elementary school leading into middle school for me, but I've seen them around. And this is what it looks like. It's just this like in intense sort of comb-like headband that we're gonna try out. When Drew saw me open this package, he was dying laughing, first of all. He was like, those? <laughs> because he grew up with an older sister, so he remembers her wearing these. And he said that him and his younger brother would wear them on their arm like this. I don't know if anyone else did that, so let me know, because I had never heard of that before. But yeah, we're 
going to try this on my big head. Like, I'm sorry, what? I don't know how this is gonna work, but let's try it. I don't know whether I should like brush my hair back first. I mean, I didn't back then. I really just kind of went willy nilly with it, but oh dear God. Okay, okay, it's fine. I'm not gonna rip my hair out today. Okay, we're here, we're doing it. Let's try it out. Ow, oh my God, this is poking me everywhere. It's more stressful than I anticipated. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, I have to do it on this side too. Like, why is this so difficult for me? This was very easy. I did this as a freaking fourth grader. Hello? Oh, <gasps> wait. Okay, I like don't actually hate it. It's not like my favorite look because I think I would prefer a little bit of like volume under here. I just had the most horrifying thought. What if teasing our hair came back in next? Like I'm talking bump it era, I'm talking Jersey Shore poof. If that comes back, I will not know what to do with myself. I wore a poof in my hair for like years. But anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Do I see myself wearing it like out and about? No, because I don't really like the shape of like my forehead and my hairline and stuff, but like whatever. It's kind of cute. Like, especially I'm trying to tilt my head down so you can see what it actually looks like, but it is kind of cute. Like it's not the worst thing I've ever done to my hair in the entire world. But this last trend that we're gonna do is a little freaking weird though. So just brace yourself and don't say I didn't warn you. I guess we're just gonna rip the band-aid. I mean, we've already done it at this point, but we're gonna test out the bleached eyebrow trend. It was really popular in like the late 90s. Eyebrows didn't even really become a thing that I remember anyone talking about until 2013, 2014. I truly never did a single thing to my eyebrows except like wax or tweeze them until I was like 25 years old. And that's the honest truth. But I do remember vaguely that was definitely Definitely more of like a sort of edgy, maybe punky thing, but a lot of people were bleaching their eyebrows and a lot of people are doing it nowadays. However, I will not be bleaching my eyebrows. I'm so sorry. My eyebrows are light enough as it is and sparse enough as it is. I'm not going to lose a single hair or follicle or even shred of a nutrient on my eyebrows because I need all I can, all I can get honestly, like every last bit. But I do have some concealer. So we're gonna test this look out and just sort of see what it would look like on me and see if it's actually this like high fashion chic thing or if I just look insane. I mean, either one. <laughs> and we're really just gonna finish this off strong with this very unique sort of nostalgic, but still very like 2022 type of look. So let's jump in. <laughs> How perfect that my hair is already pulled back for this. Okay. We're gonna do this, we're gonna commit. Oh God, we're doing it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. It is like kind of satisfying to watch it go on the hairs, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my God, in the viewfinder, to me, it looks like I have no eyebrows. Ah! I don't know what I've done. <laughs> um. I mean, sure. If I was like a edgy, slightly grungy, kind of trendy gal, I'm sure that this would be fantastic, but I personally don't see the appeal of it. To me, it just looks horrible on me. But like, let me know your thoughts. I don't know, like I said, I spent so many years trying to fix these eyebrows and get them to a place where I'm happy with that I just could never see myself doing something like this. Although your eyebrow hairs will grow back, like you can always dye them back and stuff. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna let you give me your thoughts. So we've done enough today. I think I've put myself through enough middle school trauma, but let me know if you would wanna see another one of these. Um, we've done a lot and I have a lot of thinking to do, but I had a blast. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts on these trends down below. Are there any that you could personally see yourself wearing or are there any other trends that you wanna see me show in future videos? Definitely let me know down there. In case you're interested in any of these things, I will leave links to everything down below. Um, <laughs> Enter at your own risk, I'll say. But thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next video.